Hey guys, got a chance to perform at Cap City Comedy's Funniest Person in Austin contest. There were a bunch of comedians there. A great show. Uh, I can't believe I really got to do it. It was pretty great. Um, there's Charles Adams Jr. He actually moved on to the next round. Met a lot of comics there, actually. Um, it's a great place to hang out. They got a lovely club there. A lot of people from the Austin area showing off their skills. Uh, I will be back. I uh, met this guy, Ian Dunleavy. He was pretty cool. Uh, we talked about comedy for a second, but he seemed a little nervous. I was a little nervous, but more anxious than anything. I just wanted to get on stage. Uh, you can see by this lovely club that's just, you know, it's a great place to be. Um, great place to yeah, hang yeah, out, too, yeah, if you're a comedian. All right, so that's basically it. Um, hope you guys enjoy my set. Here it is. And remember, if it's a fact, I'll make fun of it. Let me explain. I like Trump. Let me explain. I like Trump. I like because he tried to build a wall to keep Mexicans out. Let me explain. I own a Mexican ladder company. Yeah, I've been making a lot of money. You have any idea how many grappling hooks we sold last year? A wall to keep Mexicans out? This has been great for Dos Escaleros Incorporated. I'm gonna tell you, right now. Uh, I have nothing against immigrants. I love immigrants. I'm an immigrant from Ohio. <laughs> so, I wanted to write some jokes about Texas, uh, but it's hard because I don't speak Spanish. So it's been tough. Uh, you guys don't really speak Spanish out here. It's more of like a like an Espanol. You know what I mean? Espanol. You know because it's never there, there, first rule of Espanol, there is no you all. That doesn't exist. That's not a thing. If you're from Texas, you say y'all. It's y'all all the time. Even in serious situations, like y'all are under arrest. <laughs> Anything y'all say or do can be used against y'all in the court of y'all. <laughs> sounds a little racist, but some things, some things sound racist without being racist. I think in America we're finally starting to get there. If this could happen to an entire country, like uh, Nicaragua. <laughs> Sounds racist. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll ever go to Nicaragua. That's how I just put it that way. You want to take a boat to Nicaragua? No, I don't think I'll be going. <laughs> Fool me once. It sounds so racist that if you were a white person going to Nicaragua with like nine of your best black friends, you'd be like, wow, it's great to be here in Central America. <laughs> So I'll end up like saying nerdy things like uh, I read the Game of Thrones books before the movie came out, before the shows came out. Uh, so yeah, exactly, Game of Thrones. Couple of nerds in there. Going to sleep alone tonight. I like it. All right. Nerds, yeah. I'm kind of a nerd, so I'll end up like quoting it in weird situations. I'll be hanging out with some friends. I'll be like, we died today, brothers. We died bleeding from a hundred wounds while arrows are screaming down. Then they kicked me out of H-E-B, so that's it. I want to say dumb things. That's why I'm glad that we can say that some things sound racist. Like, uh, I told my mom, my mom says, A-Rab. <laughs> sounds racist. It's not racist, but you've never heard a racist person be like, I hate those fucking Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> No one's rolling their arms for racism. No one's doing that. <laughs> Is it racist that I will never in my entire life fight a muscular Asian person? <laughs> I'm not taking that risk. I can drag and kick in the back of the head because I believe in equality. Are you kidding me? No thanks. No thanks. That's why I didn't understand when those Asian people get beat up by random black people. Remember that? And then all across America, just black people beating up Asian people for no reason. I was like, are these people insane? You were taking your life, you would never watch the movie in your life? That's how you end up on some Chinese reality TV show, you know? Just, for the makers of To Catch a Predator, an undercover boss comes 
Crouching Tiger, Hidden Camera. That's right. <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Camera. We've taken 17 of the best Kung Fu masters we could find and dressed them up like old Chinese ladies. <laughs> Nunchucks meet racism. It's a good show. I moved to uh, Austin because uh, things were just getting really weird politically and it seemed like the best place for me. Uh, everybody's so weird politically. And I don't understand it because comedians were really getting a lot of run for jokes. They would literally be saying something funny about racism and like, that guy's racist. It's like, no, he's joking about racism. Like, joking about racism is racist. You know who takes racism seriously? Racists. <laughs> get away with everything. R. Kelly had to pee, just have pee on camera, and they were still like, I don't know, have you ever heard the remix to Ignition? It's pretty good. <laughs> Coming straight out the kitchen. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is how I know musicians have a power that we comedians will never have. The Beatles have one of the most misogynistic songs I've ever heard, and I've heard a lot of fucking music. I'm gonna sing a couple bars for you. You guys let me know when you hear the misogyny. <laughs> well, I'd rather see you dead, little girl, than be with another man. You better hide your head, little girl, or you won't know where I am. You better run for your life if you can, little girl. Hide your head in the sand, little girl. If I catch you with another man, that's the end, little girl. Ooh, ah! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know how terrifying it must be to have your life threatened in four-part harmony? It's... <laughs> I'm gonna murder you and get away with it too. Murder, 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 murder you. Murder, murder, murder. It's fucked up. No one can do that. That's not cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Ivey. Please vote for me. I